I was doing some research on the French cleat method of tool storage in a workshop, basically cutting a piece of plywood at a 45 degree angle where it will uh, go against the wall and then a, uh, the opposite side of that 45 kind of locks into place to um, prevent whatever you're hanging from falling off. And I uh, made a few cuts and I made some mistakes, so I thought why not use these mistake pieces as a way to hang my computer desk over here. So that's what this video is going to be about. I have two pieces that are 31 inches long. So I'm going to cut another piece here with this longer section. I need uh, two more 31 inch pieces to match up with that table. And of course, this is just uh, experimenting at this point. So. Uh, we'll see how well it's going to work here. So cut two of those. I feel like with my height, 36 inches is a decent size, uh, decent height for a table here. So I'm going to mark it 36 and a couple spots. That's going to be uh, where I want the top of the work table. So. I'm going to have to calculate the height of those little strips and also that three quarter inch for the table top as well. I measure down to this point right here and that's where I want this uh, larger piece of the shelf to be. So the angle has to be facing towards the wall like this and so I want to make sure that we are level at Let's see here. Yep. So right there, you define level. Okay. Got it. And now I just need to put some screws in. Okay, now it's time to get the other side installed. I've marked a spot here six and a half inches away from the corner, just like this previous board over here. And because my floor is not completely level, I'm just going to toss level up here, put my board put my board at that six inch mark and then make sure this levels out here. I just got the other side installed and I set those boards on top to see how well I did with level here and uh, it's very good right there in the middle all the way across so definitely good. The next step is to get the top boards here installed onto the tabletop itself. So I'm going to be doing that down here on this, like that. And so uh, I'm going to screw from the top down into uh, this board here. I feel like the best way to get this lined up correctly is to just go ahead and put the pieces on the wall match them up, push them in tight, and then I'm going to put a little bit of this wood glue down here. Time to see how well this does. I'm going to flip the table up here, uh, set it down. All right, nice. Now, I'm going to use some two and a half inch screws to get this put down into that board down there. Hopefully nothing splits. I'm liking that a lot. One thing I'm noticing is that um, definitely should have cut those French cleats longer than the 31 inches because it's a little bit loose here in the front. But put a computer back here and a monitor on top of that and it's going to be just fine. So I mean this may not be the sturdiest table for doing any kind of projects but as far as uh, office desk in the workshop, just fine. And if for some reason I ever have to remove this, I can just... Uh, uh, flip it up here and take it out. So definitely 
uh, very flexible. Seems pretty easy to put back into place too. I like it. Well, for research on French cleats, I think that turned out pretty good. Definitely going to be using that system a lot here in the future. And as the table goes for just a, a small computer, I think it's going to do quite well. If you've got any tips or pointers on this system, please write those in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.